Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Bearded Dev. This is going to be an integration services tutorial and we're going to be looking at parameterizing connection managers. If you haven't already seen uh, the video on my channel of how to create connection managers, I do recommend you go back and check that out first. I will provide a link to that video in the description below. But for now, we're going to be focusing on parameterizing connection managers. Now, as we know, these can be set for project or package connection managers. The connections are stored in one location, so they can easily be changed. Um, so if we've got a serve move or a new file location created. So if we've worked with SQL before, we know creating store procedures, we can create parameters and we pass in those values so it's very similar to that and the values can be changed before package execution so if we want to change a connection string or the location of a file before we execute a package we can do that while we parameterizing our connection managers so we go over to SQL Server data tools now and we'll talk through some examples so I'm in SQL Server data tools now and just as a quick recap so package connection managers are just available to the individual package that they're working with and then a project can contain multiple packages so if we have a connection manager that is used across multiple packages the best practice would be to set up a project connection manager for that for that um, for that connection manager so it's only stored in one place and it can be referenced within the individual packages so I'll just show a quick example. We'll just simply uh, right click under connection managers, uh, go new flat file connection. I'll set this up, uh, just click on columns to create that. So under connection managers, we've got our flat file connection manager. And then if I right click, I can convert that to a project connection. So SQL Server data tools already handles that for us. And we'll notice once it's a project, connection manager it will appear under our solution explorer as can under connection managers within the individual project so I'll go ahead and remove that now so we want to move on to what we're going to be looking at in this video which is parameterizing connection managers so this is a brand new package or brand new project as well so simply what we're going to do is right click on connection managers and I'm going to create a new connection. So initially we're going to be connecting to a SQL Server database and for that I'm going to be using OLEDB. I'm now going to simply click on add and I'll delete that existing one and then click on new. So this brings up the page to create my connection manager. Now instead of clicking on this little drop down arrow which takes some time to run depending on how many servers you've got, I'm simply going to run a select to identify my server name and then I'm just going to simply paste that into there. That will bring up the connect to a database, so in this example I'm going to be using the bookshop database and then I can click on test connection to make sure that it succeeds successfully. So if I then click on OK that should now be created. I can see the keyword project and that's been created under my connection managers in Solution Explorer as well. And I'm just going to rename this connection manager uh, just to the bookshop. Okay, so I'll go ahead and do that now. Now to parameterize the connection manager, I'm simply going to right click and here we have parameterize. So if I click on that option, we can see this is already pretty much set for us. So we've got the connection string. And if we wanted to parameterize other properties, we can simply click on that and we have a drop down of different options that we can parameterize. For the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to be looking at the connection string. Now we have further options of do not use parameter, use existing parameter, or in this case, we're going to be creating a new parameter. That has a defaulted name for us, which is simply the connection manager name underscore connection string, and then the value. So it's automatically going to set that value for us. And then we also have the scope, and that's automatically detected because this is a project connection manager. 
uh, and then we have further options sensitive is grayed out or and then we can set it to required which means this package won't run without a value being entered so if we go ahead and click on OK that's very simple to do and that's automatically been done for us now if I on the right hand side in Solution Explorer under my uh, package if I click on package params we can see we've got the name of our uh, parameter here the data type and the value that's set so if I ever wanted to change that to a new server location if we move servers I could change the data source if I wanted to change it to a different database I could change the initial catalog on there so SQL Server Data Tools is very helpful in that it automatically builds a lot of the information for us. That was just a quick and easy demonstration of how we can parameterize connection managers. So we've looked at a project connection manager within that example. And if I just close this, I'll just be prompted to save the changes. So we can then go ahead and drag that onto our package, any packages within our project and we can use that as normal so if I have five packages within this project all referring to the same connection manager if I'd have set it at the project level and it wasn't parameterized you can imagine that's five times the work if there is a server move now I just need to change it in one location now database connections not the only connections that we can parameterize so I'm just going to set up a flat file connection manager uh, and I'm just going to set this at the project level so that's already defaulted to the location I'm looking at so this is just a flat file connection manager and I'll just change the name to payroll so it, it makes sense to us uh, I'll just click on columns just to so it can pick up the column definitions and again that doesn't say the keyword project because it's just a package connection manager and won't show under our connection managers list either in solution explorer and again I can right click on that and click on parameterize and I've got different options that I could set for this I could set the name of the file so maybe there's it's the same file but maybe different people upload this file to a certain location they might call it certain names maybe the name is set on a date value and then I also have the connection string option as well which will automatically set the value for me and that's what I'm going to do in this case and again the scope is defaulted to package because it's a package parameter so I'm just going to click on OK to set that package parameter so if I now looked at project params we'll notice that it doesn't actually appear in there so the parameters for the pro uh, for the packages are actually up here and this is where it's set and we can see the name as followed the same naming convention it's just the name of the connection manager underscore connection string and the value is set so simply if I needed to change that value maybe that file now moves to a different location I could simply change that value here and everywhere within the package that that connection manager is referenced will be automatically updated for me. We don't have to always change the value within uh, SQL Server data tools. Once the package is deployed, we can also change the value there. So if I was to go ahead and deploy this project, uh, it's only a small project as you can see there's no packet well there's only one package within it so that should go quite quickly and then if I move over to my SQL Server environment and look in my integration services catalog YouTube tutorials is the project that I'm going to be looking at I'll just open that up and then if I was to right click on the project and click configure I can see I've got my connection managers in here and I'm able to set the value before I actually start executing those packages so I can change those values they're both showing here the project and the package connection manager 
or I can click on the individual project itself and click on configure and this will just show the package connection manager so I'm able to change it there as well so we don't need to just change the values within SQL Server data tools quite often when we're executing packages we'll just need to change the value for a certain run so we can do that within the integration services catalog we can just change the value on there run the package and then change it back or we can just change it for that particular execution as well really hope you have enjoyed that video on how to parameterize connection managers if you are new to the channel do check out my other videos subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit that notification button to be made aware of when new videos are uploaded as always feel free to post in the comments below your thoughts on this video or if you'd like me to do any other videos in the future thanks a lot for watching